morning guys, Kevin Barker and Doug Barlow here with Screener Builders. Today we're going to be installing these custom scissor presses in the summer for one of our customers. This is a brief overview of what we have going. We're going to be doing a mortise and tenon joint for the scissor trusses uh, notched into two main members on the roof line. We have our rough measurements and yeah, we're going to have an install today. So the way we go about getting accurate measurements for this is we use tester pieces. It's my favorite method, it's most accurate, and we'll end up coming up and plot the two pieces on the ceiling, and we'll screw them in. And then we come down to the bottom, where the wall sits, we'll plot the bottom piece, screw that in, take a distance in between. We then take that number and lay it on our piece of material, Cut that angle, mark that tester, take the distance in between, put that tester up there, mark that angle, cut it. After that piece is fit and we get it all fine tuned, then we can go ahead and scribe it a little bit. So then when we go to press it up against the ceiling, we end up scribing the ceiling line, coming back and block planing that down. And we keep it at a five degree angle, just so this outside edge rides the ceiling nice and tight. The way we're going to go about attaching these is it's a double membered system that is riding the roof line. We have an inch and a half by two inch channel taken out of it. That channel is going to accept the spine that we have lag bolted into blocking behind our nickel gap. The main scissor truss members are going to be inserted directly into the center of that double and it's going to be joined via mortise and tenon that we've notched out here. We're going to then glue and drive one inch dowels through to hold them all together. Material again, it's a 2 by 8 pre-primed pine. Uh, nice material to work with, sands up nice. Gonna look good. As far as the joinery, we have where the scissor trusses meet, we're going to be utilizing a half lap joint. When you take out half the thickness of one side of the material, half the thickness of the other, you can press them, they're on the same plane. As far as the roof line members, the tenons that we made are going to be riding this cradle and sitting nice and snug. We took out half the thickness of the tenons and we made our tenons one inch thick. So when these two pieces sandwich together, it'll be a nice tight seal. These will not be moving at all. ceiling, we're going to go through and add one inch dowels into all of our tenons and mortises. Originally we tacked those up there with scorpion screws just to kind of hold them in place while we sandwich this whole thing together. But now we're going to go through, add the dowels, give it some extra strength. So the way we're going to go about doing that is we have a little drill press jig. We have a one inch auger bit that we're going to go through. and. This allows us to ensure that it's a nice straight square hole that we're drilling through the three and a half inches of wood. 
So with these dowels, these are one inch dowels, uh, we had to ease the edge and put a little chamfer on. The reason being, as we start driving these into the holes that we're going to use that auger bit for, if we have a sharp edge, it's going to cut and sever those wood fibers as it goes through that hole. So to minimize that, you put this chamfer on the edge, and as you drive in, it just goes right through without blowing out any of the fibers. We're going to drive these through and we're going to leave a half inch exposed on the outside edge and then we're going to cut this leading edge that we were just hammering on uh, with half inch as well and put a chamfer on that uh, just to give it good symmetry and a good look.